Okay, so here's another completing the square problem. Uh, it's gonna get a little more difficult. Uh, and then we'll do another one that I think will be even more difficult. I don't think we've had any fractions or anything yet. So um, we'll, we'll do one of those. So here we have an equation. Uh, it says 5x squared minus 30x is equal to 42. Uh, it'd be nice if we could just divide five into everything, but we can't. Um, so, um, you know, this could have been y before, or could have had a number and y uh, if we were solving a, a if we were doing a graph. But here we just have a straightforward equation. Um, if we bring the 42 over, it's not going to factor. Um, so that's out. So completing the square is our method. Um, as complicated as it looks, it's not actually that terrible. Um, so here we go. Uh, first, we factor the 5 out of these two statements because we can't deal with 5x squared. So uh, 5 times x squared minus 6x. Uh, it's good that we could, it's nice that we could factor it out of that because we would have to divide it anyway, even if we couldn't factor it out of that. Um, that's what I'll show you in the next video. And then we'll leave a space for completing the square part. And uh, we're going to add 42. So let's see. This part here, this is going to have a 5 here. Uh, this part would be x minus 3 squared. That means that here, you would wind up, if you were multiplying this back into this, you would wind up with a plus 9 in this position. And we didn't only add 9 to this equation, just like in the graphing one we did a few videos ago. Um, when we add 9 to this equation, it, you know, this expression, we're actually adding 45 to this side of the equation. So that's how we balance it over here with another 45. So we don't, we're not adding 9 here. 9 is what completes this nice little perfect square. But what's really get add, getting added to this left side of the equation is 5 times 9. So that's where the 45 comes from. And uh, we are having this equation equal to, seems like 87. Now, the rest, um, the math, the arithmetic is horrible on. Um, but we can solve for x because x is by itself in the equation, just like last time. So here, we're going to divide by 5, uh, get rid of that. x minus 3 squared equals 87 over 5. Now, we got to take the square root of both sides. That's some ridiculously terrible number. But it is what it is. We're just going to write it down. So plus or minus the square root of 87 over 5. Now, you should rationalize the denominator here. I'm not going to. It's too messy. I'm just not going to bother. Um, but you should... I uh, get that five out of the denominator um, by rationalizing it like you learn in chapter 10. That's something your geometry teachers will go over with you. All right. And then to actually get to X, we need to add three. So X becomes equal to three plus or minus the square root of 87 over five. Um, and we're done with that problem. And there we go.